Hello my friends, welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. My name is Cindy. Thank you so much for being here and watching this reading. Today I am just going to dive in and see what spirit has for you and I just want to know who am I reading for. This is part of a new series that I'm doing. There is a playlist for these. You, They are timeless so whenever you are finding this reading or it is finding you, if it resonates for you then it is for you. Feel free to check out that playlist and see what else resonates for you too. I just want to know who I'm reading for. So I'll see here what the reading is for you. And I would love for you to comment below and let me know if it does resonate for you. Okay, because I do want to know who I'm reading for. All right, so let's just get started and see what is the message for you today. What does spirit have for you? What is the most important message for you today? I've got the Ace of Cups. Well, isn't that something? I was sure this wasn't going to be a love reading today. So this could be you starting a new path. I posted on my Instagram today a reel that what came out was somebody who was wiping the slate clean and reinventing themselves and starting fresh with something new entirely, like reinventing yourself. So I feel that energy with this, totally reinventing yourself and starting fresh and starting with just going after what makes your heart happy. Doing things that make you happy. Hanging out with people that make you happy. Following your bliss. Doing things that make you happy. And starting fresh, that ace is a brand new start. It can be a brand new start in overflowing love, like an offer coming in for love. Maybe you've been waiting for that for a long time. But this can also be self-love and self-care and following what makes your heart happy. Starting out on a path, you know, maybe this is the new year and you've decided, I'm just going to do what makes me happy this year. I'm going to say yes to everything that makes me happy. Whatever this means for you, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Let me know who I'm reading for and let's see what else wants to come out. Yeah, I feel like you've been sort of waiting in limbo waiting in limbo for a new start of some kind and maybe you've been waiting for a change of perspective you know just to see things differently maybe you're waiting for somebody to have a change of perspective around about you and finally they do maybe you're waiting for somebody to to recognize the connection between the two of you and maybe you have been thinking about starting fresh in a whole new way like reinventing yourself and maybe you've done a makeover and you look different maybe you've lost a bunch of weight and you look different you know maybe you're just deciding to move somewhere else after thinking about it for a while and feeling just sort of stuck and thinking about it maybe you've decided to go after something new and I have the ace of swords here this is your new beginning this is your new path this is the epiphany that you got hanging in the tree waiting to to see things differently to have a different perspective to have a new idea and now you're putting you're implementing that plan you're going through with this new idea this is a fresh start so you've got a fresh start here this is breakthrough energy this is inspiration, clarity, guidance, hope. It's also communication. You've got communication here and you've got an Ace of Cups emotion here. So this is, like I said, either you going in a new direction, starting fresh, wiping the slate clean. You've got clarity, you've got inspiration, and you're ready to move and you're ready to do what makes your heart happy. Or this is somebody that has been waiting for the right moment to tell you how they feel or waiting for the right moment to you know or maybe you've been waiting for the right moment for somebody to wake up to what a, what this connection is between the two of you and they come in with communication and love Woof. either way this is a lot of new beginnings for you I've got some broken heart energy here, some frustration, creative frustration, maybe frustration in communication, maybe a breakdown in communication because it is swords. But I feel like you've been through a lot recently, maybe one thing after another. Oh, and I'm, I'm hearing 
too that maybe this is a connection that never got off the ground that actually you know what they say third times a charm maybe it's had a couple of tries and fails or what you perceived as a fail maybe it was something of a you come together there's a beautiful connection here this is going to resonate for some of you as love and this is going to resonate for some of you as a fresh new start but there is a beautiful connection here that's either with yourself or someone else this is something very beautiful this is something overflowing this is unconditional this is unlike anything else and like i said this could be your own connection with yourself and just deciding within yourself i am going to do what makes me happy i'm going to be my best friend i'm going to be the one that makes me happy you know what i mean but for some of you I'm distinctly hearing that there you've been on pause you've been waiting and you've been wondering and you've been waiting and you've been wondering maybe you have felt like this is you've had to surrender because you just you have no other choice but to surrender to the divine and whatever the divine has in this connection but I feel like I'm hearing that this is something that came together and it was amazing and then it was like there was a separation and then maybe a restart and then a separation and then maybe a restart and another separation well I feel like there's another restart here if you're still in this because you feel like there is just something to this connection that you cannot deny and you've been surrendered you've been watching and waiting for divine timing and whatever the universe wants for you I feel like very soon somebody's light came on okay somebody's light just came on about you and very soon you're gonna hear from them and they are going to confess feelings or it's going to lead to a very love situation where this time it actually does get off the ground what I see here is in the Ace of Swords, we have this mountain in the background. And I see that the sword is, you know, it's like this is breakthrough energy, breakthrough. And it's, ta it's leading you over the mountain. You're overcoming the obstacle here is what I'm trying to say. So I feel like there's, for some of you, this is your own very, very own wiping the slate clean, starting fresh somewhere else, being somebody else, you know, reinventing yourself and reinventing your life. But for some of you, this is a love connection that never actually got off the ground. That's going to have a new start here, a new start in, in communication, but it's also a breakthrough energy that actually puts you over that obstacle that keeps getting in the way okay and it's leading to overflowing unconditional beautiful love so let's get some more cards and see what else spirit wants to share with you here there is a king of cups that's making an appearance here so this could be this person that you've been waiting on this person coming in could be a water sign doesn't have to be and this could just be this overflowing love that you have for yourself you know I hear that somebody saying I just I am the love that I deserve and I am going to go make it happen I am going to follow my bliss and do whatever makes me happy it's my time for happiness and so I feel like for for somebody here you have literally decided to walk away from everything that you know and I feel like you have maybe undergone some sort of transformation. This could be inside or outside or both. And you've decided that you are wiping the slate clean. Maybe you're going traveling for a year. Maybe you're just going to go to travel the, the world and see all the places that you've always wanted to see. There's somebody here that is starting on some sort of new beginning that is the whole point of the whole thing is to make yourself happy. And this is you loving yourself so much that you have decided 
that you are going to give yourself all of the love this year and you're just going to go and you're going to see how happy you can possibly be. How happy you can possibly make yourself by choosing to follow your bliss. The king here, this king of cups, he has so much love. He is so much love and protection and trustworthiness. He is just full of love. So I feel like this is either you for yourself and you could be a water sign. You don't have to be. Or this is this person that's coming in with communication that is that you've been waiting for. Could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. Could be a, a, a masculine. Doesn't have to be. But there is somebody here who has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love for you. And they have been perhaps waiting for the right time to tell you or and they just can't wait anymore. Maybe their heart is bursting and they just can't stand it anymore. They don't want you to appear single. They want to sweep you off your feet and off the market. Or, you know, this is somebody who is coming in that has had an epiphany. And they are coming in. And they're going to lead you to your greatest love after a period of hurts. You've both been through hurts. You've both been through frustration. Look, we've got the sun and temperance. Amazing. This has been coming for a while. Either scenario, because I'm getting two clear messages for two people, and I want to know who you are. Comment below and let me know which one you are. Either way, this has been a long time coming for you because you've been in the hangman tree waiting to, you know, maybe make a decision, follow your instinct. Maybe you had to close a cycle and maybe that cycle was even fear or a comfort zone and you finally decided, I'm stepping out and I'm just going to go do what makes me happy. Whatever that looks like. Now is your time. Now is your time. This has been brewing for a while, I feel like. Either way, it's going to make you extremely happy. It's going to make you absolutely feel bliss and feel gratitude that, wow, this is so much better than I thought that it could ever be. And it was just because I decided to step out and do what makes me happy. And I am happier than I've ever been. This is your yes this is your big fat yes. This is your moment. It is your time. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm high-fiving you. And this is your, your son. Your happiness. This is the biggest, the happiest card of the entire deck. Of 78 cards. For you. So if you're this person who is stepping out in, in this new fresh start, you go, you go, you go, and keep us comment, comment below and keep us posted on your journeys because I am excited for you. You're done with the frustration. You're done with being let down. You're done with being discouraged and you're just taking, taking control. You're stepping into your, your control, your, your authority in your own life, your leadership and your love for yourself and wanting to make life really count. And you're doing it. I applaud you. Now, if you're this other person, you've been waiting for a while. You've been waiting. Like I said, maybe this connection has had a couple of goes and it didn't quite go. And you've been waiting on divine timing and you've been waiting on, you know, the universe, your angels, the divine to tell you what to do. And you haven't been able to let go of this connection. And it seems that it's for a reason. And now this person is going to come forward, give you some communication, and it's leading you to a new beginning in love that is overflowing and abundant more than anything that you've ever experienced before. But I think your heart knew that. And that's why you've been waiting on divine timing, right? We have the rainbow. We've got the angel mixing the two of cups together. It's all coming together and it's leading you to your happiness, your happy ending, your most happy ending. Did that make sense? Your most happiest ending. And the best news too is that you're just being you. You have submitted to, you know, like 
you have surrendered to the universe. You've surrendered this connection. You've surrendered to your highest good and you've been just waiting for it to unfold or you're waiting for divine timing for your life to unfold. If it's not this person, you're like this person or someone better. I'm totally just releasing all of this and I'm surrendered and I am ready for my happiness. And the universe is like, okay, it's time. It's time. We're bringing them out of the tree. They've got their light coming on. Get ready to hear from them because it is now time. Now this could be tr Sagittarius season because this is a Sagittarius card, which is coming up very, 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 very soon, but it's leading you to your happiness. And what I was going to say too, is that what I see in this card is that your happiness is coming from you just being true to you your most authentic self. The white horse is purity. The boy that has no shirt on is, is purity too. And it's just you being you. So either scenario, whichever one fits you, you're just being you and you're deciding to live your life for you. And you just being your most authentic self, there's something about that that triggers the change in this person, seeing you as your most authentic self brings him or her to you. So there's something about that being true to you and deciding that you're putting your truth first, you're honoring your boundaries, you're honoring your most authentic you, and you're living your life as such. And this either sends you on your new start or it brings in this love. So whichever one you fall under, take that as encouragement to just keep being you. Don't try to be anyone else. Don't compare yourself to anyone else because there's something very special about you. And you being you is what triggers this love coming in and triggers your happiness, you following your happiness, this fresh start, reinventing yourself, following your bliss. You're coming out of the tree, you're coming out of this stall and wait energy that you've been in. And you may be catching the eye of somebody here, just being yourself, who you are going to hear from very, very soon. And you are about to embark on the biggest love story ever. This is either a love story with you or someone else. Either way, you're about to be very happy. This new start for both of you is going to be the happiest days of your life. I cannot wait to hear from whoever this is that resonates with this. Both, two of you, there's two of you here. I'm rooting for two of you here. So I would love to hear from both of you so that I know who I am reading for. Thank you so much for watching. This is timeless. So whenever it finds you, it is for you. Okay, if, it's, if it resonates for you. Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to browse through the playlist and see if any other readings in this playlist have resonated for you too. Definitely comment on every one of them that resonates for you because I want to hear. All right. If you want to book a reading with me, that information is down below and I would love for you to hit that like button on your way out. And thank you so much for watching.